part two of this 13 part series showing you how to create your own working Pac-Man game using Scratch is to animate the Pac-Man character himself. In the last tutorial we've created the Pac-Man character and given him two costumes, one with a mouth closed and one with a mouth open. Now it's important to make sure that we name these costumes carefully in preparation for step two. So the Pac-Man closed costume is called Pac-Man closed and the Pac-Man open costume is called Pac-Man open. Of course if you're creating your own uh, sprites, your own characters and they look a little different to this you can call them whatever you want as long as the names are clear. Now we're going to click on the code tab here and head to events and we're going to grab the green flag so that as soon as the game begins the Pac-Man animation will start. So now that we've got the green flag there we have to go down to the control section and find the forever loop because we want the Pac-Man animation to go on forever or at least until the Pac-Man game is over. Once we've done the forever loop, we're going to change the way the Pac-Man character looks. So we go to the looks category and you'll see that down here we have the block that says switch costume two. And in the drop down list, we have the two possible costumes that we made earlier. I'm going to choose the Pac-Man closed costume as the one that he starts with. And that goes inside my forever loop. Now I could then put another block by duplicating this one that says switch to the Pac-Man open costume and this forever loop will switch between the two costumes but unfortunately it'll do that far too quickly. If I put these two costumes in here and I run the game you'll see that apparently nothing's happening. But in fact what's happening is the costume is changing so rapidly we can't keep up with the changes. So we need to put a little pause after each costume change. So let's go to events and find, sorry, go to control and find the wait section. So we're going to have the wait section just after this costume change. We have one second in there at the moment. I'm going to change that to 0.5 seconds, so half a second between each costume change. And we'll do the same thing after the second costume change, so 0.5 seconds there as well. And then we can put this pair of uh, lines just under the first two. So you'll see that our forever loop is forever switching between these two costumes with a half second pause after each change. So if we run this game now, you'll see the Pac-Man character over here is opening and closing his mouth in the traditional animation. So that's it. That's how to create a simple animated Pac-Man sprite in our game. Now in our next tutorial, we're going to look at how to add some code that will allow the player to control the movement of the Pac-Man character so he can move around the screen.